My name is Tommy Espinosa, and I'm president and CEO of the Raza Development Fund. You know, one cannot but be brokenhearted by watching the migration of the individuals from Syria, families from Syria, children uh, from Iraq, uh, from the wars that are taking place uh, in the Middle East, and what's occurring in Europe as these families are struggling to get away from the devastation of their communities and their families and trying to migrate to Europe in order for them to live a, a better life and for their families and their children and obviously some of them starving to death so that the, it's a life and death issue. Uh, it seems to be occurring all over the world but it also is a opportunity for us here in this great country of ours in the U.S to reflect on some of the issues that we're having here on immigration and migration. We, in our own backyard here in Arizona, in, in Mesa, Arizona, we have a 120 families uh, with a large number of, of children uh, that are facing the uh, forced uh, eviction, if you want to call it that, having to move out of a trailer park that has been part of their lives for the last 20 years plus uh, in a community uh, that has been able to serve probably some of the poorest of the poor families. So when we think about these international issues that we are watching on news, sometimes we should reflect on what's occurring in our own backyard. Needless to say, with the state of Arizona being 1070 and, and some of the issues that we've lived over the last decade, um, these are not going away. And until we as a community, uh, whether Latino, Afro-American, Asian, Anglo, start looking at ourselves and respecting the dignity of each other as human beings and trying to resolve some of these issues not by the courts and not by lawsuits, by just by loving and caring about each other in a way that allows us to grow our community to be much stronger uh, from the standpoint of our kids and our families, but also economically stronger in being able to grow the community in the state of Arizona and, and the Valley uh, with employment and good education. And that's really going to take us setting aside some of our own our own prejudice, our own sense of only concerning about our own communities and working with each other to make a better community for all of us. So anyhow, as we reflect, as we go into the holidays, uh, Thanksgiving being the next one and then Christmas, let's think about the impact and what kind of things we as individuals can do to love our neighbor and to help each other out. Thank you.